what I can say is that if if we march in the 224 full of optimism, and actually I'm more afraid. Because if you if you are more on guard, um, I guess that the year may turn out to be okay, right? Because you already set your expectations uh, not at such a high level. But everyone will adjust, uh, adjust accordingly. We just ride through 224, despite all the uncertainties, uh, interest rates remaining high, and whether buyers or whether it's developers, the developers will adjust. Last year, prices went up partly because uh, the new launches were only numbering 7,005, very low. And so it reduced the supply. I think there's very little competition for uh, new launches in a particular area. So towards the end of the year, Jaden and uh, Walton House launched, and so we saw the kind of pricing set because it was a, a, a launch in those areas that had not seen any major launches for the past five years or six years or seven, more than that. So this year, there will be more launches, but I think uh, we will not have the kind of unique selling feature that Jaden or Wotton House would present to the market. Perhaps maybe the integrated development at Tampines Avenue 11. But other than that, um, Developers will not, you know, in a normal market uh, situation, developers will not sell below cost. They will make a profit unless there is a shock to the market. So don't look at price indices to determine whether you will make money or not make money or how much you will get that product from the market. It's just look at what's the land cost for the developer, you add the construction cost and the miscellaneous cost, add in the profit margin, and that's the pricing that you get. So this year, you will actually, because of the 11,000 launches that we're going to, we are expecting to see, we may see price developers watching each other, and we will not get overpricing. So last year was a year where people rushed in, and um, you know because of the lack of launches. And so we got market got carried away in the fourth quarter. So this year will be more moderated. The interest rate on the interest rate front, I think it will hurt commercial transactions more, more so the large ticket items for offices because offices are yielding about three and a half percent, three point three to three and a half percent. But the all in borrowing cost is right now five point two to five point seven. Uh, that means you add the spread to Sora for a private equity firm. So the, the spread is too wide, the difference is too great. But on the retail front, we may still see some transactions. We saw uh, Salita Mall being sold. Because retail assets have a higher yield and banks actually have a tighter spread attached to uh, loans for retail assets. So rather than for offices, the spreads could be wider, for retail it's narrower, uh, thinner, so we may see retail transactions. Uh, so I think it will be a continuation of what we saw in 2023 for the commercial as commercial front, uh, residential front. It will still be uh, okay. I don't think that you will see that kind of 70, 80 percent sellout in the first weekend of launch. But generally, you will see 35, 30 percent. But that's fine. I think the developers will still sell out over the course of five years.